Good morning, happy new year, happy new decade, and uh, welcome back to Give It 10 at 10 with Jen for today's Monday Mindset session. Um, it's been so lovely to have a couple of weeks off, but I've really missed um, doing these sessions and connecting with people, so I'm really happy. I don't know about you guys, but I've had a lovely Christmas and New Year, but the kids went back to school this morning, so I went back to work, and it was actually quite nice just to be back, getting back to a routine, getting back to life, and having having some peace and quiet and a bit of space in the house. Um, it's been lovely to have people staying and, and family and friends over for Christmas and New Year, but um, I really miss having some of my own space. So what we're going to do with these sessions now on, on, um, on, on our Give It Tens at 10 is I'm going to start with a Give It 10, so a, a, a 10 repetitions or 10 something just to get us going, and then we're going to go into the subject for today. So what is holding you back is what we're going to be talking about for today, but it's mindset, it's Monday. So what we're going to do first of all is just take a Give It 10 moment and do 10 deep breaths. Um, so if you'd like to join me, we're going to do a bit of box breathing. So we're going to breathe in for the count of four, hold for the count of four, breathe out for the count of four, hold for the count of four, and then breathe back in again. We're going to do that 10 times. It's just a really, really good way to just kind of focus yourself, center yourself, get back to, um, you know, a nice state because we're so chaotic sometimes. And it's just a really good way to just, you know, settle yourself down and, and be present in the moment. So um, let's just do that now. Join in with me. Um, and uh, and then we'll get back in. Then we'll get into the session. Right. Okay. So I won't count because well, um, because it's uh, well, we'll see how it goes. I might count. <laughs> okay. Let's go. Okay, that's 10, 10 deep breaths, just to calm down and just to refocus your brain. So today, what's holding you back? So it's a new decade, it's a new year. Is it gonna be a new you? We get this fired at us all the time. So, you know, everyone feels like, oh, I've gotta be a new you, it's a new decade, it's a new, it's a new this, it's a new it's January, right, let's go out there, let's crush it, let's do all this stuff, let's, you know, let's, let's, do everything brilliant from January, you know, it's just like, oh, bloody hell, we're just like bombarded with all this stuff. But what I'm going to say to you is no, stop, wrong, don't try to be a new you, okay? You can't be a new you, you are you, okay? What I'm going to ask you to do at the moment, and some of you might have done this already, I know we're already six days into the new year, but for me, um, as I said, kids are back to school today, husband's back to work, but this is the first time I'm having a chance to sit down and think about how I want 2020 to go. But what I'm going to ask you to do is actually sit down and look back a little bit. What happened this time last year? Did you try to be a new you? Did you throw some goals out there? Did you start planning? And where are you? You know, did you actually achieve that stuff? For me, I've achieved some of the stuff I wanted to do last year. I haven't achieved some of the other stuff. And what it's important to do now is to actually look back and identify why you didn't achieve the stuff that you perhaps wanted to achieve last year. Do you still want to achieve that stuff? Maybe you don't. But what were the barriers? What was it? What was it that was holding you back? Because you might fire into the next, you know, month, even two months, and you're going to do all this great stuff, and you get up early, and you're going to eat great, and you're going to do this stuff. 
but actually quite likely in a month or two's time when you've you know finished the program or you know you've finished it you've finished whatever it is that you've started and life takes over again it's very likely that the same barriers are going to rear themselves eventually you know and the you that you are that you always are that you always are will start to put up those um those things that stop you achieving what you want to achieve and whether it's excuses of time or family or work or you know all those things that stopped you achieving what you wanted to achieve last year are very likely to stop you this year ultimately from getting where you want to be so I urge you now to sit down and write write down what it was that you were trying to achieve last year and why didn't you get there and if you did get there also why you got there what what changes did you make to achieve those things um, and, and what changes didn't you make to, to not achieve what you were trying to do last year okay so if you wanted to exercise more um, why didn't you or if you did what changes did you have to make in your life to make that a reality um, for perhaps maybe you were only doing it for a period what changes did you make and can you make those changes going forward if you wanted to eat better if you did eat better for a while what changes did you make did you plan did you shop um, smarter did you um, batch cook you know all the things that we need to do um, and if that fell apart why did it fall apart was it time was it planning was it you know what it's it's it's, it's time taken now at the start of the year to identify perhaps why you didn't get to where you wanted to before that is going to bring you some clarity on how you can achieve those things you want to achieve going forward this year. Um, change doesn't happen overnight. You will not become a new person overnight. You know, um, it's time to really take stock of, of, of what it is you need to do. So, you know, planning is a huge one, but why, you know, why do you want to eat better? Do you really want to eat better? You know, and if you do want to eat better, then what, why didn't you last year? What was it that stopped you? So I'm, all I'm going to task you with today and for this week is to look back a little bit about, you know, what happened last year that you didn't achieve what you wanted to achieve. Some things may have been out of your control, um, but that's not necessarily going to be any different this year. You know, there's always something, there's always life. You know, we keep saying, well, you know, this year will be perfect. This, this month will be fine. This week will be fine. Um, but life always happens there's always something going on there's always something that's going to interrupt your plans so what are you going to make an absolute necessity what should is going to be a must for you um what was it last year that stopped you was it time was it family was it circumstances was it lack of planning was it lack of got you know your proper goals was it a lack of a real reason why you know do you really want to do this stuff why do you want to do it and that's got to be really really powerful i'm conscious i've like touched on a whole load of subjects there but what I'm going to say to you is like stop trying to be a new you okay you are you what stopped you before is going to stop you again what's gotten you through before can get you through again you just need to harness it okay so what is it that's holding you back identify that write some stuff down and um you know just remember that the difficulties you've faced before um, in yourself are quite likely to rear their heads again. It's going to take a lot more than just wanting to do this stuff. You've got to really have a strong why. You've got to have some plans. Um, you've got to have some goals. And you've got to identify what it is that stopped you back, that's held you back before. Anyway, I think I've waffled on enough there. Um, I'm going to sit down and do some planning for today. Uh, for my year ahead. I've got some big goals, um, not least of which, and I'm going to say them out loud because they're really scary. Um, but I am going to, if it, this is, this is my big hairy audacious goals is, is to be like the, the middle-aged mum version of the body coach. Okay. Um, with my 10 day morning routine challenge with my monthly challenges, I'm going to run three monthly challenges this year and my frazzled the fabulous 10 week course, um, I'm hoping to inspire at least a thousand people this year. I want to get a thousand people on my new YouTube channel. So if you haven't subscribed to my YouTube channel, please go in there, look for Jenny Edmondson, look for Give It 10, look for Go Health and Fitness and subscribe to my channel. Um, I want to motivate people. I want to help people with their fitness goals. Um, and I want to keep it simple, um, simple things done consistently. Give It 10, we can turn the world around. Please help me in this mission. Sign up to one of my programs or just you know, watch me, subscribe to my channel, um, and let's, uh, you know, share my stuff if you find it interesting. Uh, that's it for me for now. Uh, I will speak to you again tomorrow. It's Tuesday, so we'll talk some nutrition, so perhaps 
some way of help, helping you get your nutrition back on track this year. And don't forget, I want this to be a two-way thing. So if there's something you want to hear from me, something you want to discuss and talk about, please do just find me some questions in the group. Um, come and join, give it 10, um, and we'll get the conversation going in there. And um, I'll focus some of these live calls on what you want to talk about. Anyway, thanks for joining me today, and I'll see you tomorrow. Toodaloo.